Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thanks for checking out today's video, much appreciated. And guys, today we're gonna to be talking about how live scope and forward facing sonar, in addition to running everything, it's completely run smallmouth bass fishing in the summer months. So that's a conversation I wanna have with you guys today and be curious to know what you guys think about it. So please feel, uh, feel free to shoot me some comments on that. But anyway, I wanted to do this video because we're right in the middle of all the smallmouth tournaments up north. I mean, all the big circuits are up there. That's all you're gonna hear about is smallmouth, 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 four pound average smallmouth, blah, blah, blah. You hear it every summer the same way. And guys, I have completely lost interest in it because live scope has completely, it's ruined it for me. It's spoiled one of the greatest fishery, one of the greatest ways to fish that I have ever experienced in my life. Now, what I wanna say about that is up in, prior to forward-facing sonar. When you went up north, um, specifically like Champlain, the Great Lakes, St. Clair, all that type of stuff, it was a power fishing deal. I mean, you went up there and you threw a jerk bait, you threw a big spinner bait, you threw a top water. If you were, fin if, if any type of finessing was something like throwing a tube or something like that. But I remember seeing Kevin Van Dam ripping big smallmouth on a jerk bait up at Lake St. Saint Clair, Saint Clair when we first started going up there. So sorry for the dogs barking in the background. And anyway, guys, you're wasting your time it, anymore. If you go up north to fish smallmouth in a tournament from anywhere, anywhere between June until October, you might as well throw everything out of your boat except for drop shots, little swim baits, you know, weenie worm and stuff, deals like that, and bring your live scope and your forward facing sonar because you're not going to get, you're not going to do any good. You're never going to win the tournament. You're probably not going to even get a check unless you're forward facing sonar, that type of stuff. And the days of like, here's what real bass fishing was the, the magic of smallmouth fishing up north. I remember when we first started going up to the St. Lawrence River, first tournament I ever fished up there in 1985 in the, in the, uh, fall of 1985, Jimmy Houston won it, burning a big spinnerbait, talking about climbing six and eight foot waves to get back into the river after, you know, fishing this shallow flat for three days and winning the tournament. Then I remember Rick Clun burning a three quarter ounce spinnerbait up there, winning the tournament at the St. Lawrence River. I remember going up to Lake Champlain and throwing nothing but a giant dog X and a big spinnerbait ripping big smallmouth up there. And guys, if you try to do that now, in fact, well, the, it, or yeah, plus in addition to jerk bait because they're the last FLW or the second to the last FLW I fished at Champlain. I led the tournament going into the FLW tour tournament. I led the tournament going into the last day fishing a Mega Bass Vision 110, catching 17 pounds a day on it. If you do that now, you probably wouldn't even get a check with it. You're wasting your time if you go up there and try to bass fish the way bass fishing is meant to be. And now, it, like I said, it's all just, you know, guys getting out in the middle of nowhere, roaming around in the middle of nowhere out there, and just weenie worming around with a live scope, never taking their eyes off the live scope. And it's just ruined it. It's like, I got, I got no desire to go back up and fish a tournament up north ever again. It's like, I used to look forward to it. That used to be my favorite tournaments of the year because I'd have my jerk bait out, I'd have my spinner bait, have my big top water, you know, really looking forward to that, looking forward to getting out of those flats and working hard and finding those fish. And now all, all everybody does is get out there in the middle of nowhere and just look for, you know, roaming individual big smallmouth, dropping weenie worms down on it. So anyway, thank you Live Scope and Forward Facing Sonar for running one of the best, most exciting ways to fish that I've ever seen. I can guarantee you there's other dudes out there that agree with me big time on this out here. And uh, hopefully one of these days when, after we work hard and we finally get this forward facing sonar banned from tournaments like it should be, we'll get back to the, the real uh, magical, just incredible way that we used to catch smallmouth up north and return to the way it, it, it should have been and never been taken away from. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think about it. And thanks for tuning in. We'll talk later.